Hopefully I got something. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Hi everyone and thanks so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this look. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. So I've already primed my face and did my eyebrows off camera. And I'm starting off with this light camel brown color from the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. And I'm just applying that to my crease. Next, I'm taking the lighter cranberry shade from that same palette and putting that right on top as well. Now I'm taking this medium reddish brown color and applying that to kind of deepen the crease. Now for my lid, I'm just using that really pretty metallic gold color in the same palette. And um, I went ahead and applied a couple of layers of this because I really wanted that shade to pop and stand out. Now I used that light bone kind of color, the second one in the first row to highlight my brow bone and then I went back to the matte camel color to blend everything together. And finally from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette I'm taking that purplish brown shade and applying that to the outer V. Now using a clean fluffy brush, I'm just blending everything together. And don't mind me, I was cracking up here because I was watching Insecure while I was getting ready. Now to line my eyes, I'm just using the BH Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in black. Now this is sped up, but in real time, I was taking some very small and slow strokes to really be careful because as most of us know, this part of the makeup application, the liner, can be very hard. Now to prepare for some lashes, I'm applying this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And then I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera. Moving on to face, I am taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Corrector and applying that to all of my dark spots. Now for foundation, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Liquid Foundation in the color Warm Caramel. Now for highlight, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Medium Beige. Now I'm just running my mouth while I apply this and then I blend it out with my Real Technique sponge.
For baking and setting, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Next, I'm taking a little bit of my Iman Luxury Press Powder in the color Earth Medium and I'm using that to kind of blend and brush off the extra powder. And I'm also um, just checking that I'm in frame and that I'm in focus. Now for my contour, I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. Taking that same brush where I used my Iman powder, I'm just using whatever's left over to blend out any harsh lines. And I'm also using this BH Cosmetic um, large tapered blending brush to brush off the powder from under my eyes. And I'm going between these two brushes just to blend everything out. And for blush, I'm just using the NARS blush in the color Torrid. For highlight, I'm using the Black Radiance Utterson Colored Baked Bronzer in the color Beautiful. Before going back to my eyes, I'm just taking this Milani Make It Last setting spray and spraying that all over my face. And then I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in medium to line my waterline. Then I just combined all of the colors that I used on my crease and put that on my bottom lash line. Now for my lower lash line, I'm just taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. Now taking that same Black Radiance highlighter, I'm just applying that into the inner corners of my eyes. Now moving on to lips, I'm first lining my lips with the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in the color Never. And then for lipstick, I'm just taking the NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Mason. <laughs> like I mentioned before, I was watching Insecure while I was getting ready. And as you can see from my facial expression, there was a part that I just wasn't expecting. Um, yeah, it kind of took me aback a little bit. But um, this is the final look. I ended up adding the NYX Lipstick Honeymoon as well as the Lip Lingerie um, Color and French Made on top of my lips. And then I finished everything off with my Milani Setting Spray. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.